Hey, it's Dale here from Mindsight Studios. While the SketchUp Follow Me tool is very useful for a wide variety of tasks, there are a few dangers that you need to watch out for when using this tool. In this video, I'll show you these dangers and how to avoid them. Let's get started. Number one, unexpected reverse faces. In SketchUp, both the front and back side faces are always visible. By default, front faces are white and back faces are blue. In these examples, Notice how the orientation of my profile face will determine the orientation of the extruded faces. If the front side of my profile face points in the direction of the extrusion path, all of my extrusion faces will be reversed. And if the back side of my profile face points in the direction of the path, all of my extrusion faces will be oriented with the front facing outward. It is best practice in SketchUp to always have the front side of your faces pointing outwards. This becomes extremely important when using photorealistic rendering programs or when exporting your model to another file format. If your faces aren't oriented correctly, there can often be issues when rendering transparent materials or textures. To fix reverse faces, switch to monochrome mode and use either the reverse faces or the orient faces feature from the context menu. Number two, artifacts caused by messy paths. Normally I can carve out a groove in this object by selecting the top face and then using follow me. However, if my top face has edges that are divided, follow me may produce a messy result. You can fix this by erasing the split edge and redrawing manually, but an easier way is to use the free cleanup extension, which you can install from the extension warehouse. After installing the extension, restart SketchUp and then clean up the edges by selecting them and going to Extensions, Clean Up, Repair Edges. Now when I use the Follow Me tool again, the result is just what I want. If you're getting strange results when using Follow Me, try repairing the edges and then try again. Number three, extrusion merges with other geometry. If I select the eaves of my roof and then use Follow Me to extrude a roof gutter, it appears to work fine. However, if I now want to make some adjustments using the push-pull tool, you can see that the gutter has merged with the wall, causing additional edges to be created. Plus, if I want to move the gutter, the wall and the roof move along with it. It would be much better if the gutter were inside a group to isolate it from the roof and walls. The easiest way to achieve this is to make the gutter profile a separate group before you use the Follow Me tool. Now I can select my path, switch to Follow Me, right-click to edit the profile group, and then select it to perform the extrusion. Now the gutter is isolated from the other geometry, and I can easily edit it. Another common issue is that the profile merges with the path, which is not only a headache when positioning the profile correctly, but it results in additional cleanup after using the tool. Number four, too many visible edges. When using Follow Me and Push Pull to extrude a face, each vertex of the profile will result in a visible edge in the extrusion. This is usually not what you want when extruding circular profiles or ones with curves like this gutter. However, if the edges form an arc or curve, SketchUp will automatically smooth out the edges of the curve when extruding. The way to fix this problem is to either redraw your profile using arcs or select the existing edges and weld them using the right-click context menu to form a curve. Now it looks much better. Number five, unexpected rotating of the profile. This issue can occur when the follow me path changes in both vertical and horizontal direction. Here you can see that the profile has rotated and is no longer vertical. This is especially a problem when creating railing along complex 3D paths. Since the follow me tool always wants to prevent the profile cross section from deforming along the path, the only way to accomplish this is to rotate the profile. That way a proper miter junction can be formed. However, if you are creating railing or a ramp on a spiral, you don't want this behavior, and the only way to fix it is to use an extension like Profile Builder. There are a few other extensions available on the Extension Warehouse that can also fix this problem, and I'll link to them in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.